guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be unboxing the smallest iPhone ever. And not only am I going to be unboxing the smallest iPhone ever, I'm going to be using the smallest iPhone ever for 24 hours. So pretty much I'm gonna have to ditch my beautiful iPhone for this small iPhone that I don't even know if it works properly. So this should be a fun experience. 24 hours, no phone. <sighs> Stay till the end of the video to find out who won this iPhone. Okay, here I have it. This smallest iPhone in the world. Okay, not the world, but like, you know. I got it off of Amazon, and I have no idea how this is gonna work. So let's open it. Very professional, what is this? I mean, it's no Apple box, but hey, worth a try. Maybe some Apple stickers in here, yeah? Looks like a charger, and then of course, the mini phone. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna put the phone to the side. And then this is the charger. Hopefully you don't have to use my phone while it's charging because that's gonna be kind of impossible. I'm gonna be like... And then in here, the instructions. It comes with a mini screen protector. Oh my God, that is so freaking adorable. Wow. And then of course, like this ginormous tablet of instructions. Yeah, I'm not reading this. Okay, you know what? Let's just get straight into the mini phone, yeah? So here it is, the small iPhone. Dude, this is absolutely insane. It feels like a metal, like a nice little piece of metal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like peel off the plastic, you know? Ooh, 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 very nice. Okay, so here is the iPhone. Literally, it's like a mini iPhone 8, as you can see with the little tiny camera. I, I'm curious to see what this camera looks like. Hello. I'm gonna go charge my mini phone. It's actually charging. Okay, so it works. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so it's been about an hour and my phone is on. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. It's already getting warm, like it's about to overheat. So this is my phone for the next 24 hours. This is the mini phone. Uh, no SIM card in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my SIM card in this as well. So hopefully I can like actually, you know, send texts and stuff. Okay, so it functions pretty well. Let's go to the settings. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all the good stuff. Stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be missing anything really. It's got the phone, messages, calculator, music, play store. Okay, so I'm connecting it to the Wi-Fi right now and the keyboard is so freaking small. Okay, so I'm taking the SIM card out right now because I'm going to need a phone. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so I just put my SIM in. Let's test out the camera. We love testing out cameras. <laughs> This is a beauty filter. Okay. You can flip the camera, dude. I can take a selfie on this thing. <laughs> This is so great, dude. I'm not sacrificing anything. I can still take selfies. Okay, I can even record a video. I'm gonna record a video. What's up, guys? I'm recording on my new 4K phone. I'm so surprised this has a front and back camera. And it doesn't look too bad. Oh my god, can y'all see that? It does not look that bad. My, my new phone is like better than my phone I already had. This is literally the best phone ever. I can take pictures and videos, so I'm not gonna be missing doing that. I want to see if I can download Instagram on this little baby device. As long as I can call someone on this, I could get rid of my phone already. Becca? What? I'm on a mini phone. I want a mini phone. Say hello to the camera. Hello to the camera. I can barely hear her. Okay, that's so cool. So this is my new phone for the next 24 hours. Okay, bye. I think this is gonna be the easiest 24 hours of my life. It's official, I can make calls on this, so it's pretty much usable. So I'm going to have to be using this for 24 hours, which is actually insane because this thing was like 90 bucks. So it's currently 404 on March 16th. So that means I will not be able to use this phone till tomorrow at four. I take this chesty box, put my phone, putting my phone in the box. Okay guys, it's official. Do not open till March 17th, 4.01 p.m. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get living and I will just update you guys if I run into any problems with my new phone. It's been about five minutes into the challenge and I'm already dying. What's the purpose in life if I don't have my phone? And all I have is this that dies in five minutes. <laughs> It's been about like 30 minutes and I'm wondering if this thing will ever show as charged. It's literally just dead and I'm having trouble typing. So little! I'm trying to sign into this Google Play. What do you think of my new phone, Dad? Uh, where'd you get this? From Amazon. Can you even hear anything with this? Yes, it works very good. I can still take selfies. Hello? Yeah, can I help you? <laughs> okay, so I'm currently just bored, so I thought I would text 
my friend and see if he gets it and see if he responds. So far so good. Um, I'm downloading Instagram and Snapchat right now. Look, Instagram just popped up. Look at that. Looks like we got this going after all, don't we? So pretty much, I think things are going pretty well right now. I am gonna try to scroll on Instagram, kind of have some fun, entertain myself for a little bit because I'm kind of bored. I've been using it literally for like 20 minutes. It's dead already. So my phone has been charging for about an hour and a half and it's only at I don't even know if you can see, but it's only 29%. So I'm gonna go ahead and check if Instagram's done downloading because we were literally on the verge of using Instagram before it's died. I now have Instagram, Snapchat, and Pandora. What a baller. Oh, this is amazing start to my day. Texting on this thing is a real hassle. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and download some YouTube because I'm really bored. I ran into a small problem. I don't have emojis. I don't have any emojis. Like, there's no emojis on the keyboard. So far, so good. I've been, like, on Instagram. I've been, like, texting my friends. It takes a little bit longer than usual. And my friends call me, and they heard me at first, but now they're, like, not hearing me. <laughs> but so far, I've been, like, living my life like usual, except the fact that it dies a lot. But... Why you just don't regular phone like I because this is a 24 hour challenge baby i have to use this for 24 hours <laughs> i'm not gonna use my normal phone i'm committed i taped up my phone in a box i've only been doing this for three hours and you're gonna do 24 yeah i hate to break it to you but the, like the microphone on your new mic is already broken i know you couldn't freaking hear me when i was calling you what kind of phone is it don't worry about that it's a, a three inch phone So it's currently 1.14, about nine hours into the challenge, and it's nighttime now, and honestly, I'm so bored. Like, normally, I would go on my phone, check my feed, do all that fun stuff, but with my small phone, it's dead, and it has to charge, so it's like, I ain't got nothing to do, but the good point is that at least I won't stay up super late. Hopefully, I'll wake up tomorrow. I don't have an alarm, so I don't know what time I'm gonna wake up. Hopefully, the day will be a little bit easier tomorrow, because right now, not having a phone, a real phone sucks. I'll update you guys in the morning. Okay, I just woke up and I went to go grab my phone and it's at 100%. Go on Instagram for a little bit, you know what I mean? Start off the day, because normally I start off my day on Instagram, so. I was on Instagram and it just shut off, so. Well, I guess I don't have a phone. Okay, so I charged this thing all night and it said it had 100%, but now every time I'm using it, it just keeps like dying on me. Because it's dead, I don't understand. It literally just said it was at 100%. What the freak, bro? Turn my phone. It just keeps turning off. I really just want to get my normal phone back. Like, I feel like I have learned a valuable lesson during all of this. Don't take your phone for granted. It's 9.30, currently 17 hours into this challenge, and I'm almost done. Six hours, which is a really long time, for this crappy phone. I keep using it and, like, texting my friends, because it's the only way I can text my friends. That's all I have for right now. Hopefully, it won't shut off, like, during my workout, because I'm going to have to play music on this thing. I have to go pick up my friend, and I don't even know if this thing has GPS. And first of all, I don't even know if it's gonna last the ride. So I might just be stranded somewhere with no instruction, no phone. This is probably not the smartest idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, so I tried to connect Google Maps so I can at least like go somewhere, but I forgot that once I leave my house, I will not be able to connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to drive. Okay guys, I'm currently driving around and I don't really know where I am. I literally have no GPS, so I'm kind of just like driving around hoping I'll find the right way to go because I'm so lost. Okay, no, I know where I'm at. Is this it? Yes, I got it, bro. So there was music playing in the background, so I don't want to get copyrighted, but pretty much I'll watch an ab workout on my phone and I'll follow along that when I need to do abs. So it was kind of hard this time because I had to watch it on this little tiny phone. So it was quite an experience trying to watch an ab. So we're mid ab workout and it shut off. It shut off, I'm so sad. He's happy. <laughs> hey, hello, who's this? Hello, is this Pete? Oh, sorry, I don't have your contact on this phone. Two hours left of this challenge and I'm so excited. Hello? Dude, this phone keeps hanging up itself. It is so annoying, I can't wait. I have two more hours of this challenge and I can freaking get my phone back.
I think the best thing about this challenge is when my phone's dead, I get things done a lot easier. Like, I don't have a distraction because I don't really have a choice because my phone's like non functioning. So I have time to do other things that are like better for me, you know? Guys, it's an hour before I get my phone back and I'm so excited. Okay, so it is currently 3.15, 45 minutes till I can get my phone back. It's funny though, because my friends went through this challenge with me because I'm literally like talking to my friends like, hello, hello, I can't hear you. So it's, um, my friends went through this challenge with me. They're like, just get your phone back. Like they, they're dying to. So I have 45 minutes, my computer's dead, so I can't really go on that. My phone, um, probably scroll through Instagram for a little bit until I can finally take up my phone. I'm so excited. I'll update you guys when I can finally open my phone. This is it guys. It is now 358, two minutes before I can open my phone. I really enjoyed this experiment as hard as it was sometimes not to go grab my phone. We did it. I proved victorious against the mini tiny phone. This, I think the hardest part of this challenge was just how often it shut off on me sometimes. Like it didn't stay consistent, but it was honestly better than just having no phone because I could still send texts, I could still call people. I couldn't get any direction. So I literally got lost by myself with no community communication whatsoever. So honestly, I would have to rate this phone a solid five out of 10. It does work pretty good. I got to listen to music in the shower with it. I got to answer text. I got to call people. This experience was super fun, but now it's time to get my phone back. I got two minutes. Do not open till 4.01 p.m. Fully sealed, so none of you guys think that I cheated. I should not be this excited, but having a regular phone is gonna be so fun. There was some times when my friends were like, bro, just go get your phone, because I'll be on mid phone call with them and I couldn't hear them. It's like Christmas morning. Oh my God, I've missed you. I've missed you so much. The screen seems so big to me right now. It is so big compared to this little tiny phone. I still cannot believe I've been using this tiny phone for 24 hours. And now having my big phone back, it seems so big. Like the screen feels so big. I'm not even exaggerating. It feels so big. I've taken this for granted for so long. This Using this tiny phone, watching videos on this tiny phone has really changed me for, for life. And I will never, ever not appreciate my phone again. So now to announce the giveaway to this phone. Congratulations to Gracie Abrell. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Check your email and respond to me and I will send this out to you as soon as I can. So let me know what you guys think. What I want you to do right now. This is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to my Instagram right here and I want you to send me a selfie and the person that I find with the worst quality photo the worst quality photo I will buy you a phone I will buy you a phone I really want to like because dealing with this was so hard and if you have a really crappy phone I want to bless you with a better one thank you guys so much for watching do not forget avocado member of the month if you want to win avocado member of the month and win a free avocado plush and a shout out, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment done when you're done. Let me know, would you be able to use a tiny phone for 24 hours? I certainly did not enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next. Sarah, Grace, Sunny! I wish I could tell you how we go, oh uh, man And I wish I could tell you that I know my plan I wish this was easy like a finger up uh, uh.